Clark had his treasure chest. 600 copper pieces, 110 silver pieces, two potions of healing, and a jade statuette of a frog. How much is a potion of healing worth? I don't know, like 10 or so. Or so. 10 gold pieces? Sure. Okay. It depends on the economy. I'm, like I'm the weakest okay, person so in the group. I will carry it, so if also, any of you guys feel like I'm going to try and steal it, you can just kill me. Okay, I like that easier. plan. I like that. Since we hate him anyway. Right, I like so that plan. We all that there somewhere. Now that Sildar is, is feeling a little bit better, um, he's got some information for you. Uh, the three Rock Seeker brothers recently located an entrance to a long lost Wave Echo Cave. Clar, the bugbear who leads the, the Goblin Band. Um, well, you guys already met him, so I don't know if this is even... My sword met a dick. Okay. Gundren had a map, but the Goblins took it when they captured him. Clark sent the map and the dwarf to the chief of the Kragmaws at a place called Kragmaw Castle. Who would have ever guessed that that's where the Kragmaw are hanging out? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to work out the cliff notes on this here story. Okay. Um, Gundren, something about a black spider to the guy I just stabbed in the dick. And then, <laughs> and then now he's gone. I feel like we didn't do anything last time. Well, you guys killed the, uh, we, we killed, killed, we killed, killed the boss. We killed all kinds of shit, there. including almost our own teammate. That was not a weed. <laughs> yeah, we. As you guys approach the town that you guys have already been to. I want to try to speak to the town. Just the whole thing. Good so, morrow, town. Oh. Actually, you guys have been here before. Well, you two, uh, Famunda and uh, Spicoli, essentially just run into the town to try and drink their wares away after the most recent battles. So that's where they are. You may be able to find Spicoli over in the shrine humping something. He's probably going to find yeah, the shrine. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that he's going to have sex with something in there. Either before or after drinking or maybe before and after. Hang on. No, I don't mean to derail you, but do we need to introduce that they're not here? This this is, they'll know that with their this eyeballs. This is the DM. <laughs> more than okay. I do. <laughs> Fomunda is, is probably in the inn or wandering from building to building as he was the last time he was <laughs> yeah. Last time we were in the town. Getting, so. getting grouchy about having a <laughs> He's just walking from building to building. Walking, just for no reason. Walking into buildings saying, why would I want to be in this building? <laughs> Tell um, me all of your information now. Treating it like a video game. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys are entering the town, um, what are we doing? Is anyone DTF? Hold on, I got notes. Uh, no. <laughs> Keep that scaly thing in your pants. Do we have to roll? <laughs> I'm, I'm, right. uh, I'm not it's paying attention for to this, everyone's so. pleasure. <laughs> I, I got some notes. You want me to recap what I've got? Yeah. I think Who, is Carp a person? Carp? I have no Was I I mean, that's a this? fish. I wasn't, right? Let's just assume that Carp. I don't know what Carp is. I'm not gonna. Re oh yeah, it's Carp story. Ha <laughs> Carp's a guy. Carp. Yeah. Is he a fish? I, I don't with think the, he's a fish, but I think his father's name was Gil. With a name. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make uh, Amanda kiss him and turn him back into a. Prince. I don't even okay. know what the fuck is going on right now. So we're going into the town. We're going into the town with any purpose. I wanted to find Yarno. Let's find Yarno. Yeah. The dude that we gave the cart to when we first got here. Let's ask him if he knows anything about Yarno. Somebody told us he's likely dead. I don't know who told us he's likely dead. I think you decided that, but he was just missing. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Oh, he's probably dead. You're just a pessimist. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to the Barthens Provisions Inn? <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, you guys head over to Barthens, and you Bart. say... Hello, Hello Barth. We Yo, Bart. Barth! <laughs> we just casually enter. Ah. We take a number at the deli counter. <laughs> not there for some reason. Hey, we were here... Remember us? Or so ago? <laughs> Remember us? We were the adventurers. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, were you able to find my friend? Which one was your friend? Still the, uh, no, the rock seeker. No, we're actually still looking. Yeah, for no, that we guy. found a. We have a rock seeker. No, still there's different. He's a uh, tall winter. Hall we winter. have a dwarf who. He's knows. human. We need to find Yarno. He has a map for where we can find Gundren. <laughs> yes. Do you know where Yarno is? Unfortunately, I have not seen Yarno. Oh, uh, that's where we found out that he was missing. He's dead. <laughs> Do you know anybody in town that might know where Master Yarno is? So basically, oh, all that um, Barthen tells you is that he's just been having a real problem with those uh, red band I'll brand spin acid folks. You. If you guys are looking Yo for down. information on him, you can well, you can Yo go down. to the inn or um, you can also go to the town master's hall. All right, yeah. town hall. All right. I'll barge through this front door. Which one's okay. closer? Hold uh, the muscle back <laughs> while we 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna cast sleep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna Kool Aid Man through the door. Oh, like, oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's hit the end first because it's right. technically. Let's, let's hit the end. Closer. Uh, you walk into the end. Uh, in the corner table, you see Famanda kind of just drinking. It's like a hand on his eyes, just like you know, no visitors or anything like I'm that. I'm worried about him, guys. Um, there's <laughs> hold a bunch. On, hold on, before we pass that up, I'm gonna go draw a dick on his face <laughs> with a magic um, shark. He's awake, but he lets you do it just he's because he's so like. <laughs> out of it <laughs> cool. I think we try the bartender you finish up talking to everybody nobody really has any information as far as about Yarno yeah, yeah let's job. go to the town hall let's yeah to but the on the way out I'm gonna say screw you guys I'm gonna oh don't do that because we have to come back That's you guys okay. are in the town hall right uh, who are we talking to is um, it well you guys are just asking everybody in the town to hall the mayor just, uh, the... yeah whoever whatever the bitch his name was do you guys remember is the name? receptionist there where's Yarno do we yeah. have to make an appointment <laughs> So this is Sildar. He's essentially telling you guys, all right, so um, I've talked to everybody in the town. This is the information that I've got, uh, gathered from Yarno. Sildar learned that Yarno, he's a fellow member of the Lord's Alliance, so they're both members of that same alliance, disappeared while exploring the area around Tresendar? Tresendar? Yeah. Uh, Manor, which is in the town somewhere. Sleeping well, Giant, that's not an actual thing. Sleeping Giant, that's the name of the place, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sildar asked the characters to investigate the manor and the surrounding area to find and bring Yarno back, or what's left to him, if something killed him. Sildar describes him as a short, dark bearded human wizard in his 30s. He sounds evil. Like a wizard. Um, we don't own the <laughs> On another note, he just kind of wants to add... Good luck, uh, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. He's, he's, he's actually... I think he sticks with you guys. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll read forward here in a few minutes. I don't know. That guy has a penchant for dying. <laughs> but, but I guess we're bringing Malice along, so... Yeah. Well, it was just him and a dwarf last well, time. At least we know who we're not leaving him, him alone with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened to Sildar? He got raped. Yeah. <laughs> Sildar was raped. Now he's got fucking therapy three times a week. <laughs> <laughs> also, no face, because she spit acid yeah, on him. Yeah, she spit Rape acid on his dick. Now she's like humping Ken. He's on, her, he's on her team, so of course she spit acid at him. Obviously. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he wants you guys to kind of follow up on the goblins now that you guys have cleaned out the castle. Uh, he thinks it would be a good idea to kind of see if you can get any information on the rock seeker that way also. He's he's saying uh, he's really? offering you guys uh, a reward of five hundred gold pieces. Oh hell yes! Uh, if you locate the Kragmaw Castle and oh. defeat or drive <laughs> off the tribe's chieftain. You can get paid. Oh, get his aid. Cheddar. Make it rain, Cheddar. bitches. <laughs> so, uh, Make it rain. Oh, shit, that's golden. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 uh. Is this mayor weird. haunted of some sort? Why, why, why would someone disappear near Trusendar Manor? At this point, you guys are just going to have to investigate. To Is it the last house on the right or something? <laughs> <and it's... laughs> it is uh, kind of the last house. Not a house copyright infringement. No. Uh, well, is it a cabin in the woods? Or... <laughs> Copyright infringement. infringement. Wait, is this <laughs> Friday the Thirteenth? So when, you, as you guys are asking around, those, those is it a haunted mansion? Uh, you you kind of get the feeling that it may be tied to those Red Brand gangsters or whatever they are. Let's go check out the fucking. Man. I kill shit. When we get there, might be some Red Brand up in this. Mind your manners. Are we rested up? Yes. Yeah, we rested yeah, up. Yeah, everybody's all cool up. Yeah, we're in the cave. I guess. Sweet. Then you head to the front of the cave and you're. Uh, now can we do the explosion front. thing? The slow walk, the slow motion walk explosion? I, I, I cast press the digitation behind us. I throw so my cigarette. We walk away. I throw my cigarette in the water that turns out to be gasoline behind us. <laughs> 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 and and then then no, the one one dies. Dies. no one looks back. No, okay. yeah. no one looks back. Cool guys don't look at explosions. So uh, when we when we start up next time we'll be uh, entering Fandolin. Again. Again. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully this time and one of us will be entering the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it is not Bruce Lee. <laughs>